I'm a very excited person today. <laughs> I've always struggled to grow up on a beard. It's all really, really wiry and stuff. Anyway, this has just come through the post. Look at that. Look at that. A little bit battered from Royal Mail, but fair enough to you. You do a good job. Work hard. Oh, here comes a dog. Okay, so I'm going to open it. We're going to see what's inside it. Oh, you. Should have thought about this one. There's a lot of tape on here. I love the packaging. It's great. It's black and gold. I mean, obviously, it's it's just going to get thrown away anyway. But I had it on Wednesday, th Thursday. For eight hour delivery, so can't complain about that. Let's see what's in this bad boy then. So this is the starter kit. Um, and it's the starter kit, the silver one. They've got loads of different fragrances and stuff, but this was the most popular one called a. Uh, Viking Storm. So let's have a look at what's inside then. Ooh. Oh, first of all, I like that. That's pretty sweet. Welcome to the family. Ah, so we have descriptions of all the different products. Now this is cool. So, Beard Struggle Brush. Okay, let's have a look at this then. So I think I'm going to have a read up. But I think you use this to condition your beard or something. It's really nice. Really nice wood. And it's got the uh, logo. Kind of it, not embossed. It's carved out in it. It's wood. Yeah. Um, but that's really nice. Really nice quality brush. So I'm excited to... Uh, Give that a try and I'll probably, probably film doing that as well. Just give a bit of review. Um just to let you know if you are gonna spend some decent money on some on some products. All this by the way was 15% off. Um so I'll just turn that back on. When you accidentally turn the uh, video off. Bobby's joined us by the way, I thought he might. What are you doing, mate? Just lie down then. Lie down. Good oh boy, that's none of yours though. Oh we also got a band. <laughs> Love that. Love that. <laughs> A little nod to this year. That's going on now. Why not? Okay, so, yeah, this uh, box, I think I was just saying then, is this box was 15% off, and it still is 15% off um, for a limited time, but I have got a code as well, so um, Matt FM. 15 gets you 15 percent off so that's good so if the offer runs out this worked out about 60 quid okay but there's a lot in here um definitely a lot more than the home bargains beard oil that was buying that hasn't really seemed to do much so so we've seen the brush and then we've got ooh, all nicely wrapped in the bubble wrap oh look at these bottles these are beautiful so we've got night liquid and day tonic. Okay, so you've got one you put on at night and one you put on during the day, but look at those bottles. They are lovely. Look forward to that. Let's have a smell actually. Oh, that's really nice. It's a bit stronger when you put it on as well. So it's not very not perfumey at all. Quite fresh is that one actually. Um, rice bran oil, sunflower oil, avocado oil, argan oil, jojoba, yojoba oil, and uh, essential oils. Apply a small amount, six to eight drops, under your beard to the skin, then work the oil through your beard. So that's the that's the day tonic. So what does the night one say? So the night one says, apply a small amount, exactly the same as that one did, but this one's rice brown oil, castor oil, macadamia oil, sunflower oil, almond oil, avocado oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, and essential oil. So it's just got a couple of little different oils. Um, it's made in Canada. 
very good. So you put that one on at night as well. So it'll be interesting to see what the journey is from here as well. So next one, let's have a look. Black Christmas cap and end. I do like the fact that it's all perfectly wrapped in this though. Really, really neat. Done a good job. It's little differences, little things like that that make the difference. So we've got the gentleman's scruff balm and the beard balm. Now the scruff balm is for a shorter beard, so I kind of just stage mine's that now. And then the beard balm, I'm going to have to have a look. I might save that, but that's fine. Um, I've already got it then. Um, but these again, look at that. Look at that for packaging. That's really nice. Kind of these dark greys, browns with the... Um, the chrome logo. Um, let's have a look at the scruff back actually. So they're just really complimentary, they look really really nice. Now you might be thinking well it doesn't really matter but I love packaging, I love looking at things. In fact I save all things that are empty if they've got nice packaging because I think someone's taken time to design it. And... Yeah that smells really nice. So it's like a like a waxy kind of um, a bam. So that should last a while actually. Doesn't look too big but it should last a while. But again we'll see and what's this got in it. So instructions after washing your beard and applying our oil, work a small amount of the balm through your beard to style and promote growth. So I have a lot of hairs that decide to just dance whatever they want to dance, so maybe this will tame them a little bit. So shea butter, macadamia oil, castor oil, rice bran oil, almond oil, avocado oil, argan, jojoba, apricot kernel, oh I didn't know apricots had kernels, beeswax and essential oils. Fab. Is this much different than this one? Ah, this one's to promote growth and this one, after washing your beard and applying the oil, work a small amount of the balm through the beard to style. Okay, so this one's kind of when to help the growth and then this one you just use generally as well. Lovely! And then the last thing in here, so that's quite a lot to be fair. Um, we have two bottles, again, nicely thought and wrapped. Make sure Bobby doesn't start playing with that now. He's, um, again the Viking Storm, so that was the scent I went with, and it's the beard conditioner and the beard wash. So we've got shampoo and conditioner. Now these aren't very big bottles, um, obviously it is just for this area, and I do think um, from looking at the instructions, I think you're only doing that once a week anyway, so it should last a little while. Um, so let's just have a look at this. Um, do fit. So just on the shampoo and conditioner. I won't read it all because that'd just be pointless, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, bring softness and shine. End of the week, use the wash and conditioner once or twice a week, preferably the end of the week, to cleanse your beard, restore moisture, and promote optimal beard health. So in the morning, for new beards, apply the gentleman's scruff balm to moisturise the follicles, so the hair follicles, and promote some growth. And then in the morning, use the beard balm if you've got an established bit, so I will save that for now. Apply the liquid day tonic to touch up your beard and give it shine and softness. And in the evening, put the elixir in to add moisture and prevent moisture loss overnight because it's so dry in the morning um, and then use the beard mask I haven't got the beard mask so I might look at that um, once or twice a week to infiltrate your skin to regenerate hair and that's when you put the uh, and that's when you put the night oil so we've got the gold collection scents and the silver collection scents so Viking on a a blend of suave, creamy, buttery nuances of bergamot and lime that are both intoxicating and sweet with notes of peppermint, which invites energetic and invigorating sensation. So the other silver ones are Loki, Unscented, uh, Freya's Bliss, and Viking... Oh, I've got Viking Storm, actually. I just read the Viking on her. So Viking Storm is a fresh, strong, masculine stem scent with notes of apple patchouli vanilla, amber, oak, moss and musk. And then the gold collection, so for established beers is a gold collection. You've got Asgardian Secret, Odin's Virtue, Ragnarok Finale and Valkyrie's Ood. So there's a lot, I mean I fell in love with this brand just because, of, well there's a few things, but a lot of the Thor references. I mean, you know me, I'm a Marvel buff. Um, I love it, I'm an absolute geek for it. Um, 
So yeah, um, and I've joined a community for it on Facebook um, for other kind of ambassadors uh, called Beard Vikings, and I've seen a lot of other companies do it, and it and it's very, very faceless. Um, this is a really really nice supportive community to be in, um, and even with a lot of a lot of tools um, to be able to just promote it um, and just and just share the products and just share how good they are. So I'm not going to be selling them. That's one thing I didn't want to do right now because um, I've got enough things to concentrate on but actually just letting you know how they work because um, the best way to choose something is to actually have somebody that you know that's used it right that's what I think anyway so that's that that's the box which is shortly going to go in the bin which is a shame because that's a really nice box is that just a quick reminder so we've got the night elixir the day tonic this isn't going to work, is it? We have the beard balm and the scruff balm. And then we have the beard wash and the conditioner. I mean, look at the branding. That's top dog, is that? I really like that. And then not to forget the brush. Ooh. Yeah, that is nice, actually. I guess that's to help stimulate the skin as well. A sticker which is pretty cool because cancer's a bitch and a uh, very very f u covid 19 because it's been a bit of a bane this year hasn't it okay so i am going to do a video on using it uh, i'm going to spend a bit of time this morning getting ready making sure i know what i'm doing um and i'm going to use it and i'm going to show you and if you want to watch it you'll watch it if you don't then you'll turn off wicked see you in a bit so so there was going to go through a couple of things so I use the shampoo and the conditioner they smell really really nice really really fresh um, you're going to need like a pea sized amount as well so they'll last a long time it does lather up quite nice so I'm going to give a bit of a brush you can see quite a lot of volume to it there so I'm just going to give it a bit of a brush just to try and move the hairs apart I kind of forgot this bit as well, the tash, I need to remember that bit. Again, yeah, this brush, quite soft, but you can feel it, you can feel it really, really getting in between the hairs, separating them. It's almost like a, Lauren said it was like a horse brush, <laughs> but it is kind of like the brushes that you uh, get for your pets. I can see why, because they get right down to the skin. So it is nice, so it'll help exfoliate the skin under everything okay cool I'll do with that right so now it's time for the what time is it I'll tell you what I'm going to use the day tonic I was going to use the night tonic but it's still only tea time so I'll use the day tonic um, and again this stuff smells really nice really quite fresh Okay, and you're gonna need six to eight drops, so not even a full, not even a full pipette. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one for good luck, always. Okay, let's just rub it around there. I'm gonna get it nice and warm. I'm just gonna work it through. Work it over. Through it right to the skin. That's the idea. Moisturize the skin. And the night, um, the night Alexa, I used that last night. And I did notice a difference a little bit. My beard was a little bit less dry this morning, which is good. Okay, so get that through there. Feeling good. A little bit less like a wire brush now. As you can see and then best not yeah I did that last time I forgot to put the cap back on um, again that's the uh, the day uh, tonic which is an oil essentially but I forgot to put the cap on so I almost uh, went everywhere not a great idea and we're going for the scruff balm so because it's quite a short beard 
and scruff balm just there again smells really fresh so it's all the same scent so it's quite nice they all naturally complement each other but again so I've used this twice now I've used just a little bit it wasn't full um, so it should last a while so I'm gonna get probably about that much just on the end of my finger warm it up on my hands warm it up a little bit granular for a start and you feel it really getting warm the great stuff about the great thing about this is it'll start to shape everything as well so really just rubbing that over for a start Bring it over so it starts to flatten the bit down a bit if that's what you want and just keeps that moisture going through smell really nice mm. really unobtrusive you don't smell like a Viking I don't know if any other scents are uh, a lot stronger but just feel really good spending some time on me which is what all this is about so just making sure it's gone everywhere including underneath Easily forgotten about bit is underneath. You should be a little bit going to do that. And you're flying it back down again. We're good to see how it grows from this and whether it grows any better. We're using these products as well, it's quite exciting. So once we've got that. And ta-da! So that was shampoo, conditioner, the brush brush it through, the tonic. And then the scruff balm as well. And what you can see, nice and shiny and softer, a lot softer than it was. And out of all, yeah, 10 out of 10. Okay, so again, just a reminder of all the stuff that came in the Ultimate Pack there's the beard brush, the scruff balm, the beard balm, the night elixir the day tonic and the wash and the conditioner um i'm going to put the code and the link below if you want to get your 15 percent discount i think it's really worth it um and you're going to see me um if you catch me instagram on my facebook um which again i'll put the links below but if you catch me on them i'll be putting as the beard develops um and if you really do want to start, start taking care of it um then this is definitely one way to go so again i'll put the links below and uh let's see how we get on